The National Audit Office now is an independent parliamentary body in the United Kingdom which is responsible for auditing central government departments, government agencies and non-departmental public bodies. The NOW also carries out value for money VFM audit into the administration of public policy. Function The NOW is the auditor of bodies funded directly by the Parliament of the United Kingdom. The NOW reports to the Controller and Auditor General who is an officer of the House of Commons of the Parliament of the United Kingdom and in turn reports to the Public Accounts Committee, a select committee of the House of Commons. The reports produced by the NOW are reviewed by PAC and in some cases investigated further. The NOW has two main streams of work, Financial Audits and Value for Money VFM audits. The NAO's financial audits give assurance over three aspects of government expenditure, the truth and fairness of financial statements, the regularity or statutory validity of the expenditure, and, the propriety of the audited bodies conduct in accordance with parliamentary, statutory and public expectations. Financial audits are carried out in much the same way as private auditing bodies and the NOW voluntarily applies the International Standards of Auditing ISAs. The NOW is subject to inspection by the Audit Quality Review Team of the Financial Reporting Council. Value for Money VFM audits are non-financial audits to measure the effectiveness, economy and efficiency of government spending. Roughly 60 of these reports are produced each year, the most notable from recent years being the reports on MRSA, which led to an increase in public interest in the topic, the report on the rescue of British energy and the report in the public-private partnership to maintain the London Underground. The remits of the NOW and the Public Accounts Committee do not allow them to question the policy itself and so VFM reports only examine the implementation of policy. The responsibility for questioning policy is left for other select committees and debating chambers of parliament, but this has not prevented the PAC being named Committee of the Year in 2006. Good Governance an output somewhere between financial and VFM audits, was previously a strand of NOW work, but is no longer a focus of activity. The NOW does, however, publish best practice guidance for public sector organizations. An example includes the fact sheet on governance statements. In addition, the NOW undertakes fast-paced and more narrowly focused work called investigations. The NOW received new powers under the Local Audit and Accountability Act 2014 to provide an end-to-end -end view of policy implementation, and produce reports aimed at the local government sector. Topic the controller function The controller function is administered by the small, but important, exchequer section within the NOW. Its work centers on recording all transactions to and from the consolidated and national loans funds. Money cannot be paid from either of these without the C&AG's prior approval. This approval is granted every banking day through a mechanism known as the credit. The Exchequer section is also responsible for agreeing payments from the Consolidated Fund directly to certain bodies, including the Queen through the civil list, judicial salaries, MEPs' salaries and the European Commission. Parliamentary links The NOW produces a number of briefings for select committees, but its key audience is the Public Accounts Committee. It also has a strong relationship with the Public Accounts Commission that oversees the work of the NOW and approves its budgets. <laughs> Public Accounts Committee The NOW and Public Accounts Committee form the key links of the Public Audit Circle which has the following sequence The NOW performs financial and VFM audits and makes its reports public the PAC has hearings based on NOW reports wherein failures in meeting regularity or propriety requirements are apparent. The PAC provides a report with recommendations based on PAC hearings. The government responds to the PAC report in a Treasury Minute. The NOW publishes a reply to the Minute and there may be a NOW – PAC follow-up study. <laughs> Public Accounts Commission The Public Accounts Commission TPAC annually approves the NAO's corporate plans and budgets. It also receives value for money reports on the operation of the NOW. These are written by private sector audit firms in much the same manner as the NOW reports on central government. 
Topic International work The National Audit Office is a member of the International Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions INTOSAI. The NOW shares knowledge and experience with other Supreme Audit Institutions say, around the world and undertakes the audit of some international bodies. For example, between 2010 to 2016, the C and A G was one of three members of the United Nations Board of Auditors, responsible for auditing the United Nations itself, including peacekeeping operations and related organizations such as UNICEF and the UN High Commissioner for Refugees (UNHCR). Topic: History and Establishment. The earliest known mention of a public official responsible for auditing government expenditure is a reference made in 1314 to the Auditor of the Exchequer. <inaudible> <inaudible> Auditors of the Impressed 1559 In 1559 an office was set up, with responsibility for auditing Exchequer payments, called the Auditors of the Impressed. Topic: Commission for Auditing the Public Accounts 1785 to 1866. In 1785 a commission for auditing the public accounts was established by statute the former arrangement having fallen into abeyance. Its members the commissioners of audit were 5 in number increased to 10 in 1806. The commissioners worked closely with the controller of the exchequer who was charged with controlling the issue of funds to the government following the establishment of that office in 1834. Topic: <laughs> Exchequer and Audit Department 1867 to 1984. Under the terms of the Exchequer and Audit Departments Act 1866, the offices of the Controller of the Exchequer and the Commissioners of Audit were merged and their duties vested in a new official, the Controller and Auditor General formerly the Controller General of the Receipt and Issue of Her Majesty's Exchequer and Auditor General of Public Accounts. <laughs> National Audit Office 1984 -present. The now developed from the former Exchequer and Audit Department founded in 1866 in 1983 as the Auditor for Central Government including most of the externalized agencies and public bodies as part of an appropriate mechanism to check and reinforce departmental balance and matching of quantitative allocation with qualitative purpose as set out by public policy. The existence and work of the now are underpinned by three fundamental principles of public audit. Independence of auditors from the audited executives and parliament. Auditing for regularity, propriety and VFM value for money. Public reporting that enables democratic and managerial accountability the basic need for the now arises from these three fundamental principles in that as parliament votes on public expenditure of various activities by public bodies they need auditors that are independent of the body in question the government and or opposing political parties while auditing for compliance and legal spending by departments on the activities voted for by parliament in a transparent and public forum Structure The NOW is based in London and Newcastle and has a staff of 800. The NOW is structured into directorates, each with a responsibility for a government department for instance, the Home Office or Department for Culture, Media and Sport. Each directorate contains 20 to 30 staff, many of whom are qualified accountants or in training for qualification with the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales Within directorates, staff will be split between financial audit and value for money work and include staff of the following grades. Analyst, junior researcher on a value for money engagement. Assistant auditors, auditors employed on a three-year training contract, leading to a qualification with the ICAEW. Auditors, auditors that have completed their ICAEW exams but have not yet obtained the full qualification. Senior analyst, oversees value for money studies. Audit principals, senior auditors, with responsibility for leading a financial audit engagement. 
Audit managers civil service equivalent grade 7, oversee a portfolio of audit engagements or a value for money studies. Director, civil service equivalent grade 5, SCS1, responsibility for a directorate. Directorates are arranged into clusters of government departments of similar characteristics. This enables the now to undertake comparative work between departments. Above director grade, directors general have responsibility for specific cross now functions such as audit practice and quality, and finance and commerce and executive leaders previously assistant auditors general support the board. The now has finance, human resource and ICT functions to support its operations. The now offices Part of the NAO's London office is a listed building, originally built for Imperial Airways as their Empire Terminal. The building underwent a £60 million restoration and refurbishment, completed in 2009. The now rents part of its offices to tenants, generating income of £1.30 Minnesota in 2012-13 The building is a modern, open-plan office and the refurbishment enabled the now to introduce many environmentally friendly features, such as rainwater harvesting. The now has a separate office in Newcastle employing C90 staff. Topic governance Following the controversy over a previous C and AG's expenses, see the criticisms, the governance arrangements of the now were overhauled and a board was put in place to oversee the running of the organization. The board is made up of Non-Executive Chairman, Michael Bichard, Baron Bichard Controller and Auditor General, Sir Amias Morse Chief Operating Officer responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the now, Michael Whitehouse Three other Executive Directors Four non-executive directors. Topic: Criticisms. Some of the criticisms that have been leveled at the now include the following: It is not sufficiently accountable. Although the now publicly scrutinizes other public bodies, the scrutiny that it is subjected to is not fully transparent. Its reports are subject to external review both before and after publication by teams of academics from Oxford University and the London School of Economics. These reviews consider whether the methods, findings and conclusions of the reports are sound, and have on occasion found the intellectual basis of the reports to be thin. The results of the reviews are not, however, made public. Its reports are neutral and cautious. This criticism stems from the normal way in which the reports are written. Initial drafts of reports are shared with the departments about which they are written. This begins a process of clearance, during which all facts are agreed between the now and departments. The reason for this is to give the PAC a mutually agreed report on which to base its later hearing. The hearing would be pointless if the departmental witnesses were able to disagree with the findings of the report. In practice, the clearance process is said to lead to a watering down of the initial draft, with the most contentious early findings removed at the behest of the department and never, therefore, made public. Failure to publish. In extreme cases where information is too politically sensitive, a report is not published. The often quoted case is their 1992 investigation into the Al Yamama arms deal where due to ongoing legal investigations the report has not been released. It refused to release a copy to investigators during the serious fraud office investigation into the Al Yamama corruption allegations in 2006 as to do so would have required a special vote by the House of Commons. Its savings are not robustly calculated. The now claims to save the taxpayer £9 for every £1 it costs to run. These savings include reductions in public expenditure and quantifications of non-financial impacts of the NAO's work. The latter includes expenditure being better targeted and, in some cases, increased expenditure, for example, the now published a report on how the Department for Work and Pensions was making the general public aware of state benefits to which they might be entitled. Any increase in the take-up of benefits that could be shown to be directly attributable to the report would be counted as a saving by the now. If the definition of savings were restricted to reductions in public expenditure, the amount of savings that the now could claim to have made on behalf of the taxpayer would be significantly reduced. The argument used to support this practice is that the NAO's remit is to examine the effectiveness and efficiency of public spending as well as the economy. Some of its reports are insufficiently strategic. 
The NOW produces a wide range of reports on all aspects of central government expenditure, but many of these deal with marginal topics like government leaflets, countryside rights of way and railway stations. As David Walker notes, the NOW does not and cannot examine major strategic issues such as the underlying principles of the private finance initiative and the effect of class sizes on educational attainment. Its reports do not deal adequately with the issue of value for money. The NOW uses a broad brush definition of value for money to plan and carry out its reports. The reports do not, as might be expected, focus purely on detailed financial analysis of whether or not a particular scheme or initiative is value for money. Instead, they include qualitative analysis of costs and benefits to give a more comprehensive assessment. In 2005, a NOW report on NHS Local Investment Finance Trust LIFT was criticized by one of the PAC members at the time, John Trickett, for its focus on qualitative analysis of the benefits of LIFT schemes and the paucity of its financial analysis. The NOW has recently published a report about the use of consultants in the public sector. Critics identify that this report did not directly answer the question of whether consultants employed by the public sector give good value for money. However, as the report highlights as one of its findings, this was not possible because insufficient information is gathered by departments. Furthermore, the report did not consider the quality of the advice given to departments by consultants. Sir John Bourne's expenses in May 2007, Private Eye released information obtained under the Freedom of Information Act detailing the travel expenses of the then head of the now, Sir John Bourne. These included tickets on Concord and stops at luxury hotels. In one instance, Sir John and his wife attended a three-day audit conference in the Bahamas. The conference was Wednesday to Friday. Sir John arrived on the Friday and he and his wife stayed on the island Saturday and Sunday. Al Yamama the Now was also accused of hampering a police investigation into the Al Yamama deal by the Guardian newspaper in July 2006. It would, however, have been a breach of parliamentary privilege and hence illegal for the Now to have handed over the requested information. Other public sector auditing bodies There are several other public sector auditing bodies in the United Kingdom. The Wales Audit Office, Audit Scotland and Northern Ireland Audit Office are responsible for auditing their devolved assemblies and associated public bodies. See also Whole of government accounts A few other Supreme Audit Institutions For a full list, see International Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions European Court of Auditors EU. Government Accountability Office US. Cower des Comptes France. Chamber of Accounts Greece. Australian National Audit Office National Audit Office of the People's Republic of China